The first thing to dimension this is to go into the tree, select your front view, and go to your properties. Under generation, we want to generate center axis. That should probably be set up in our parameters so it does that every time. Apply, OK. We need these axes to represent the center of the holes and to dimension to. Under annotation for dimension, you need a dimension from the datum A to this top line. I might have to zoom in to grab that top line. It drives me nuts how that's in a way, but I'll slide this over here. And then we also need a dimension. This is double click, so I don't have to click on it again. I'll click on this line to the end of that line and slide over here. <clears throat> that locates the first hole. Now, we need to control the size. So under dimension, I select this one. So when you're doing this, normally the one you dimension is going to be the dimension on the left because we read from left to right. Usually you would locate the hole and the size. Remember earlier when we talked about dimensioning to holes, we dimension to locate it and the size of it. Don't forget we got to switch it from ANSI to ASME by going to properties. Oh, I got to get out of dimension. I have this double clicked. Click on this and go to properties. Under value. Sorry, under dimension line, we're going to change out from regular ISO to ANSI ASME two, two parts. Apply that and select OK. Slide this out. We have located a hole. Now, the hole has to have a single arrowhead. ISO is two arrowheads, ANSI is one. Uh, right click in properties. Turn symbol 2 off, apply, and OK. And then I like to keep that up here in the top left corner. All right. Now, on an ANSI drawing, we're going to dimension from this hole here to the last hole. And unfortunately, I didn't zoom up, so I got to do this again. We're going to dimension from this first hole to this last hole. Oh, dang it. Try this again under dimension. I want to get the end of this line. Slide over here. Get the end of this line which is hokey because that other dimension's in its way. All right, so I got that. I'll slide back out, and I'll chain dimension it here. All right. Now, what you're going to do is switch everything by going to Properties and making it an ANSI drawing by putting it to inches. This is inches and feet. We want to go just to inches by switching it from the value from feet and inches to numdink. Select OK. Two place dimensions tells me this was an old ANSI drawing. And what they did back in the day is they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. We have nine holes in here. So you click over here, and on the red X, you click on the, uh, the red triangle, and we type in 9X for nine holes. So nine holes, half inch. And then here, at the end of that red arrow, we would just simply type in equally or equal space. And that all has to be capital letters. But it's not uncommon to abbreviate that. Whoops. I'm going to select that red triangle. 
using capital letters E Q S P is more common letting us know that the shop you guys have to figure it out that's why the shop has to know math and that's why the shop goes to math classes they got to calculate the distance between each one of these holes so you locate the first hole all these other holes are equally spaced nine of them half inch diameter this is what you'll see on an ANSI drawing ASME is a little bit different We'll do that in another demo.